What is up, Power Ranger fans? John here. I know I am late for this, but I really want to talk about it. I could have talked about it on that same day. Unfortunately, there are so much issues barring my path on what I want to do with the latest news, and that totally sucks. Now, I have been following the Power Rangers series since I was a child, and I used to watch it after school every day when I lived in the Dominican Republic. The Power Rangers show taught various lessons such as being a buddy and not a bully, being more eco-friendly, eating healthy, avoiding conflict, never giving up in what you want to achieve, and pursuing your dreams, proving yourself worthy to yourself and others, etc. Mostly to yourself, of course. However, one of the things that made Power Rangers franchise so great is its natural brand of diversity and inclusion. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Power Rangers. Okay, so what I am talking about right now is that Power Rangers Dino Fury has introduced a brand new LGBTQ character, and it's none other than Isabella Garcia, also known as Izzy. Izzy is the green Dino Fury Ranger and was revealed to be a lesbian in the 13th episode of Dino Fury, The Matchmaker. Izzy is currently dating her rival, Fern, who was introduced in Episode 5, Winning Attitude. This isn't the first time Power Rangers had confirmed LGBTQ Rangers. The first notable example being Trini from the 2017 Power Rangers film, and in the Boom Studios comic book series we have Ilarian, the Solar Ranger, and Remy, Orange Solar Ranger. And the Boom comics are so damn good. You gotta read them, folks, man. You gotta read it. Now, what makes Izzy special is that she is the first one that debuted in the TV series, which is the main source of Power Ranger canon. In addition, the main TV series target demographic are kids, giving more impact to this reveal. Let us not forget that Power Rangers Unworthy, a fan-made series, had a female Tommy. Her full name is Tomika Oliver, and much like the original Tommy and, Kim and Kimberly, she was in a relationship with the Kimberly of that universe, played by jenna garcia in that fan film you can watch it on youtube do i support this of course i support this man i am supportive of gays lesbians bisexuals transgenders and queers because they are people and they should be treated equally be given the same rights and opportunities as straights do have these same rights and opportunities i won't deny in the past how mean i was to them and me not supporting same-sex marriage but i took the time but after certain experiences, I took the time to critically think about it and learn to support their right to happiness, marriage, to be treated equally, etc. Because remember, LGBT are not seeking special treatment or preferential treatment of any kind. All they ask for is equality, equal treatment, equal rights, equal opportunities, etc. Okay? I'm a straight guy and I support them to the max. How will people react or already reacted to this? Well, many will express their support for this. Others will say that it's forced, while others will, will say that this is all some anti-hetero agenda that seeks to, quote-unquote, destroy the family. To those who think such things, you should know that the Power Rangers always promoted diversity and inclusion. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Power Rangers. And just because LGBTQ characters are being included in a long-running show for kids doesn't mean that it's going to be some R-rated or X-rated going at it fest. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't forget, just because LGBTQ characters are also included doesn't mean that the show is SGW propaganda, because it's not. For a long-running TV series, this is a huge step in promoting LGBTQ representation. Don't forget, one of the actors of the original TV show, David Yost, is gay. He played as Billy, the original Blue Ranger. Don't forget that. If it bothers you so much and it's too, quote unquote, in your face, then don't watch the show. Simple as that. Change the channel, knowing it's forcing you to watch the show. But don't take away people's right to watch a show. And don't take away people's desire to feel included and feel that they matter. 
okay? When it comes to LGBTQ characters, how did LGBTQ viewers reacted when there were characters from their own community revealed to be lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer? They reacted positively and said, at last, when Cobra Kai had an LGBTQ character, Moon, LGBTQ viewers, I'm sure they said, finally! When Game of Thrones had LGBTQ characters like Loras, Renly, Oberyn, Elaria, and Yara, LGBTQ viewers said, finally! When, LGBT when Steven Universe had LGBTQ characters, they said, finally! When the Arrowverse had LGBTQ characters, they said, finally! When the Hundred had LGBTQ characters, they said, finally! When Buffy the Vampire Slayer had LGBTQ characters, which was taboo at that time, defying all expectations, they said, finally! Will and Grace, a sitcom way ahead of its time, had LGBTQ characters. In comics, when Hulkling and Wiccan were revealed to be a couple, LGBTQ readers were very excited. In Astonishing X-Men, when Northstar married his boyfriend Kyle, LGBTQ readers were excited for Marvel's support for same-sex marriage in the same manner that they were su supportive of the gay Alan Scott on Earth 2 in the New 52 storyline. Now, it's truly bad w when people say that inclusion of LGBTQ is nothing more than a political agenda seeking to destroy the family and destroying heterosexuality because it ain't. At the same time, I gotta say that it's equally bad that whenever there is a lesbian character, someone has to bitch and moan about the male gaze. Like Overwatch, for example. If any of you have something to say about this and have positive support for this inclusion as well, comment, subscribe, hit that like button and go for it. I'm John of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. And as always, Power Rangers fans, may the power protect you. Later.